when you think about what the container home looked like a few months ago and what it looks like now, it's just, it's honestly night and day. Finally, what's been in our head is now out in the world for everyone to see and I just, I love it. But before we jump ahead of ourselves, I'm Tyler and this is Todd. Five years ago, we decided to quit our jobs, move to the middle of the woods and live completely off grid. When we started out, we had no experience, but that didn't stop us from diving in feet first and learning how to do everything from creating our own water and electricity to the hundreds and hundreds of other projects we needed to learn how to do to build our own home using shipping containers. Even after all this time, we still have so much left to learn and are not experts by any means. I'm getting foaming hand soap in my eyes. I feel like they're being stretched open right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But if we can figure out how to do all of this, trust me, you can too. We post a new video right here on YouTube every Sunday, so make sure you give this one a thumbs up and come along. Good morning. We have spent the last week up on the scaffolding, finishing up all the siding on the tower, but there are two very important projects left to do. The gutter company is just getting here to take care of their side of things, and we're gonna get geared up and deal with our side. Drink it in, illuminate all these technical days. Wow, the gutters look really good. It like finishes it off. They make them bend it here. Like that's just a sheet, like a roll of metal and the machine bends it to the length they need. Oh, really? Yeah, not I what know. I thought. No. Learn something new every day. Did you know that, Dumpy? Oh, is that common sense? <laughs> <laughs> and so you want to do this down here yeah. too? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, we're going to do this, do the tower and this one and the rest of the line. Yeah. I'll give it to you, that's a smart idea. Occasionally, don't let it go to his head. So I'm just realizing, if you're watching this from outside of Canada or maybe the northern US, you're probably super confused what we're attaching to the roof right now. So because we did a metal roof in the winter when snow accumulates on the metal, it will build up, build up, build up, and then it will slide off into really, really big, heavy sheets. And our roof is quite high above the ground, so we don't want hundreds of pounds of snow coming crashing down, smacking into, you know, the deck, maybe the heat pumps, and God forbid it actually hits someone. So by putting these little metal pieces, they're called snow and ice guards, what it does is it basically chops it into smaller pieces. So rather than being a really huge sheet, it becomes several smaller sheets so that when it falls, it's way safer and more manageable. So it is an extra step, but I think it's totally worth it just for the peace of mind. Yeah, see how it is? It's got two layers in it. That's why we went with it, because it's not like the one over at the lake that's only one layer. So it's supposed to stop the needles as well. Yeah, I don't think these gutters are very realistic to get up and clean. You know. There's um, a bunch of wasps right there, Dumpy. Yeah, there's a, a nest there. Someone keeps forgetting to spray the nest. Mm -hmm. Don't know who that would be. I went a little thick on this one, but I learned on my next one. What'd you get it thick for? Because we got five tubes. I want to use them all. I'm trying to stimulate the economy. Any more on this side, Dumpy? One more. One more? Okay. Yeah, I know, and then I got out on that ladder for you. I got out on that roof and I came right back in. Oh, are those your footprints? Yep. If, if you fall, I'll catch the ladder. <laughs> so who's got the next one cocked and ready? I'm holding one. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> Here, you go do it. I'll put these on. I can, You're good now? Yeah. If you go to the center one, you can probably get them both. Yeah. I can do it, hon. I don't mind. No, I'm useless. No, I feel like Tyler, nothing to do. One more up here. Okay. <laughs> you had to make it awkward, Dumpy. <laughs> Back to shore footing. Do you want to take this? I mean, I can throw it off if you want. Yeah, but... There you go. <laughs> Aim for the pool. Okay, you got one buttered up? No. Can you, you can reach them from there? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Vanna. What does that make you? Pat? Yeah. Or He's... is he Pat? Sun kiss your cheek, feel the earth on your feet. We got so yeah, I don't know why we decided to build a house so tall. Cut to the stairs didn't fit. All done? Yep. Let's get the f out of here. Yep. Step into the sun. Good morning. It's actually been a few days since we picked you guys up. We really wanted to just plow through and get everything finished. 
but we had to wait for the scaffolding to get taken down. It was the weekend, so the company couldn't come back. Yeah, she's <laughs> Some quality time with Squirrel. Still waking up, well, hey. it's more for me, but yeah, it feels really good. So a few weeks ago when we were working on the pool, like mechanical building, which we still need to come up with a name for, because yeah. sometimes it's the pump house, sometimes it's the pool hut, but anyway. We don't know what we're calling it yet. We ordered a door for it, but the scaffolding was in the way of getting the door in. So now that the scaffolding's gone, we can continue on, get the door in, get the siding done, and just really get the whole yeah. exterior of the house finished, which is going to be huge. It's just, yeah, it's been a really long go to get to this point and to have the whole exterior wrapped up is gonna feel pretty incredible. Um, I'm just like, I'm ready for it. It's time. Yeah. Anyway, I got coffees ready to go. Dummy's gonna be here, so let's get moving. What do you think, Squirrel? Grab your tool belt, Squirrel. It's time to get to work. It's time to get to work. Snuggles are done. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. It looked like it lowered just a little bit there. So the gap is wider over here? Yeah, why don't you take a look just to make sure. <laughs> I think the gap looks wider there to me. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. It's pretty close. A little bit. See, he's just a little nitpicky. <laughs> God, it looks beautiful. Me or the house? Well, I'm excited thinking this is our last day with metal siding, but then we've got the cantilevers. Yeah, it's a little easier. Good stuff. Is it? Hopefully. That's what you're going to go with for now? Yeah, it's what we're going with, yeah. I picked up a quarter at the bus stop. Took me all the way to the next spot. Oh, you got the first one on already. Oh, yeah. It's such a sunny day out here. I'm holding up my hand. I'm gonna see if I can get up on the roof. It's so close, it's just stuck right there. I'm gonna need help getting down. Go ahead. Do you wanna come down now? Or do you wanna wait? I'll wait in case he needs me to pull it out here. How's that look? Really good. Okay, do you wanna catch me, Ty? Yeah. <laughs> just come down on my folder. That sounds like an off idea. No, it's not. Just... I'm going this way. I'm not. Hold my butt. There's a step ladder in there. <laughs> Are you getting all that on video? Probably. <laughs> Who needs a step ladder when you've got Tyler? That's good enough. I think so. Just beat it. Like some tape over this, we'll caulk that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to hit it. But... So bad. <laughs> Can't miss the last one going. No. It's anything like the last piece I got some time. Look at that. I'm pretty. All right, well, that's it for that. What's the next? Uh... And it's out the window like an airplane Surfing through the clouds of my own way Wish that I could stay right here I just want to stay right here So we're going to get started on finishing up the skirting of the deck. A lot of you suggested in the video that we make sure that we have access points all along, so we're definitely gonna do that. If we nailed all of the boards in, it would make it really complicated if we ever needed to get under there for anything. So this section right here, we're just gonna screw in. That way we can just quickly pop the boards off rather than prying them off and ripping them off in the future. So, seems like a good plan. Sounds like a great plan. I wish you could be like this forever. Today was such a productive day. Definitely a lot on the go and a bunch of different things, but I like these days because they're kind of recharging. It's a little chaotic, but bit by bit, we actually make big strides on days like this. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you can tell it was a productive day because it's an absolute bomb in here, but it's looking really good. Yeah, I these days, like we, we wake up so early and then we just get right to it that yeah, I need the place clean when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> and where it was such a busy day, I was thinking like, well, I was going to go out and do some gardening and, you know, some yard work, but 
I'm feeling happy with what we got accomplished, so I was thinking we could just do a movie night, if that's okay with you. Yeah, I'm just gonna make dinner and then yeah. we can just chill for the rest of the day. We're really big fans of when September starts, starting scary movies, so every night we watch either like a spooky dookie, as we call them, or we'll watch like a fall themed video leading up to Halloween, and then we obviously switch to Christmas. We watched a movie last night, by the way. It's called Abigail. And it's um, basically like this little girl that becomes a vampire. It was pretty jumpy. Yeah. I, I liked it though, it was good. It was good, but what's really cool is we're using Surfshark, the sponsor of today's video, so that we're able to watch these videos from all around the world. What's great about Surfshark is we're able to change our geographic location so I can see what's available on our streaming services over in the UK, or we can pop over to the US, maybe head on down under to Australia. It's pretty cool. It really is nice though to have so many more options. We've used Surfshark a lot when we travel, mainly for the internet security standpoint, but since we're homebodies nowadays, <laughs> it's awesome for the entertainment. Like to be able to unlock Netflix libraries from different countries, which is all totally <laughs> legit and legal. Oh, are what? you excited for a movie night? What? It's movie night. <laughs> oh no, supper. Uh, Do you want your supper? <laughs> yes, okay. All right, if you wanna try out Surfshark, make sure you use the QR code here or the link in our description box down below because using those, you're going to get an exclusive offer from Surfshark. Do you need a hand with no. getting their food ready? Their patties are frozen. <laughs> yeah, it was a productive day. I may have forgotten to take them out to thaw, but. Sorry, boys. I'm going to get to work on finding our little spooky movie. <laughs> As you can see behind me, the spray foam truck is just getting here, which is just such a huge relief. I want to say an extra special thank you to Trinity for squeezing us in. This was not supposed to be happening today at all. To book for spray foam, it's normally, you know, quite a few weeks, even sometimes months out because the demand is just so high. But because we just successfully passed our electrical inspection, we need to be able to clad in these parts of the shipping container, so the cantilevered sections, because we need to have the whole exterior wrapped up before we can move on to the interior. So normally when you would do your insulating, you would do everything all at once, but there's literally nothing normal about this build. So what we're gonna tackle today is getting this section done, and hopefully if we have enough time, the pool hut over here, which by the way, is just looking so good. I'm just really, really happy with how it turned out. So we're gonna have a nice heated, insulated building to keep all of the pool mechanical warm. But anyway, I'm gonna go help them get situated and set up. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. How are you? you don't have a tarp or anything, do you? Piece of plastic? A tarp? We do a lot. We have the finished floor in here. Yeah. They were just, just want something just to cover it. My plan here, we'll have this all tarped in, the deck everything covered. We can leave like, to stand open if you want. Yeah. But it's not a bad idea to put the, the cover over that. What they're doing right now is they're taking core samples to go through and make sure that where they're spraying the foam that's already there is okay for them to attach to. There's actually quite a science that goes into spray foam. So in a nutshell, because I'm obviously not an expert, it comes in two big drums of different chemicals that are out in the truck. They go through the hose and they have to mix at the exact perfect ratio with a perfect temperature so that you get the maximum amount of expansion to the foam but also that it cures properly. Then you have to allow that to cool because you're only able to build up two inches at a time. So for instance, if we have a six inch cavity, we have to do three passes of the foam in order to fill it but allow it to cool in between. It's just crazy. They just pay so much attention to the detail because they really want it to be done right and so do we so that we don't end up with another section of the house with spray foam that needs to be removed. An open road and a deep blue sky. Yeah, I'm going to start cleaning up. Crazy, eh? Holy, it literally just opened up pouring down rain. Oh my god. Wild. All right, so now that we have all of the spray foam insulation on the cantilever sections of the container, we can finally wrap up the outside. So what we need to do, this, all of these dangling things, these are gonna be lights. So we want to completely finish the siding 
and then that way we can move on to the interior. That's the plan. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Like ready to have all this gone. Yeah, I think it's gonna look really good. So, and like, I'm really excited for the chin up bar. Oh yeah. Cause like, that's how I'm gonna get sick gains, bruh. Um, I think what we're gonna do though is kind of just wing it, play it by ear. We, um, I don't think we have enough siding, which is making us really nervous, so. Well, no, we do. The issue is we don't have enough full length pieces, so we might have to like butt some up together and instead of it being one strip across, it might like have a joint in it, but that's okay. This side we'll use the full lengths because we'll be hanging out here at the front of the house. I don't care if it's pieced together, you know? Yeah. Like. Screw it, wait. It's not like I'm gonna sit out there and stare at it. But here I am gonna be drunk floating in the pool and staring at it. Yeah, I guess it does need to look really good. Visually, you're gonna see this more. Spot a lot. Like the only one that's gonna see the other one is me doing dishes in the sink because I don't even think you know how to wash a dish. It's a little early for this type of behavior. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna start lifting up pieces. We are so low on siding. We only have those few pieces left, so really hope that this works and we're able to get this yeah. finished up. Last time doing some metal siding, I figured we could splurge on a brand new disc. Yeah, I can't believe it's the last time. We can take it off and do it again if you guys are not. Don't say anything. <laughs> we already got one piece to peel off. Ready for siding? We're ready for our first piece tie. You're holding us up. You got any cut yet? God, it's gonna be a slow day. There's always one that bottlenecks it. Wake up, the world is smiling. Got the sun on my side today. Nothing can stop me shining, feeling lucky in a big way. So where do we think the vent one's gonna go? I would put it in the center because we only have one for each side. So if you notice, these two pieces of siding are different. This one has little perforated holes in it. And we made the decision we're only gonna do one just so there's enough airflow and ventilation underneath. We're gonna put it in the center so it balances it. Great explanation. Perfect. <laughs> Well, you yeah. did so good. Eight feet, so that's 16 pieces. For one side? Yeah. So we've got four, so we need- Oh, we don't have- We need 12 more for here. So we're definitely gonna need to order more. Unless we, unless we start piecing it. But we don't even have a lot of pieces left. Hey. Hey. We're just gonna continue, and then when we find out like how many we're short, sure. we'll let you know. Okay, perfect. Okay. I could be like, an hour and a little bit, and I could be back with the siding. Oh yeah, absolutely. Sure. Okay. Life is on the bright side. I don't think you'll notice it if we leave it like that. Yeah. Now the fun part? Yeah, the fun part. It just looks so cool, like walking out and it being finished on top. Love it. Really good progress. I think it's gonna be really exciting because like these cantilevers are the last piece of the envelope that we have to do like on the exterior, which is nice because then we'll be able to just kind of focus on the inside or on the pool or on the million other things that we need to do. We are determined to get this siding done today. A trip into the city is totally worth it. It's gonna be super quick though. I don't have to wander around to all the different hardware stores trying to find that exact shade of siding. Having Robin and just like being able to call her when we need materials and like, do you have this random three inch nail that we need? It's just, it's such a time savings. I, I cannot recommend going to a building material supplier directly. If you're ever working on a project like this, it's just, um, it just saves so much time. Like the, they're the experts. Like, I don't know about sourcing all that stuff. So. Anyway, I know we've pumped your tires a lot, Robin, and I know you watched the video, so I just want to say, like, an extra special shout-out to her. It's, um, it's pretty awesome, and it's made this last few months go that much smoother. Um, I just, I just love it, so shout-out to her again. And also for recommending the tower siding, that Novik material, it is a chef's kiss. I cannot wait to finish up the metal so we can give you the big grand reveal. All right, I'm gonna play some tunes and enjoy the drive-in. All right, so now that we have all the metal underneath the cantilever done, it's time to start doing the flashing, which is gonna come down and hide all this wood stuff and kind of wrap around and just make it all look nice and finished. So in order to do that, we have to build out a little bit in this section so that 
it's at the edge of the container, but that's what Dumpy's figuring out right now, and I'm just here for moral support. When you strip the vault, your armor, you can find the field of breeze. Where'd you go? Right here. You make it sound like I wander off off. Well, you do that a little bit. At home, I have an electric shock collar in case I walk too far. <laughs> we ain't got pockets full of money, but we're rich in other things. This highway is our living room. We're swimming. Like this is completely different. Yeah. 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 See, it just sits down in there. This would have been so much easier to oh, do. Oh, way easier. Way better. I don't think it'll cut though. No, it's not going to cut on that. We'll have to use a grinder. You guys are not going to believe this. If this is not our luck, I don't know what is. <laughs> so we just opened the siding and the new stuff that we got is a completely different model than all of the other metal siding that we've done. The way it attaches is completely different. Apparently they don't make our style of siding anymore because there were so many um, like complaints and returns because it didn't work well and it was so frustrating. So just a friendly reminder, <laughs> we have done the entire house in this siding and it was very difficult and awful and we hated every minute of it. And now we come to find out On that- On the last eight foot by eight foot section, there's a better product way better this stuff literally just slides in versus the other stuff clipping like ah <sighs> anyway well it should go pretty smooth on the home stretch yeah we have to use um snips though because the cutter that we have is specifically made for the old type of siding yeah so all right <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's do this Why well, you got golf at six? Do you want to go see the other cantilever? How it's looking? I put a lot of work into the bending of the metal. <laughs> We've just been sitting here for probably an hour and a half, staring at it, like in disbelief that finally what's been in our head is now out in the world for everyone to see and I just, I love it. When you think about what the container home looked like a few months ago and what it looks like now, it's just, it's honestly night and day. So. Yeah, and it's like firing me up because our goal for the summer was to get the outside of mm -hmm. the house done and we're just about done that. So then yeah. when this like weather starts to get cold, we'll move back inside and work on the projects in there. But I'm just so energized seeing how the outside is. I want yeah. the inside to be just as finished. We're gonna be done before you know it. It's, um, as you know, it's been, it's been a long, long project. Has it? <laughs> but the, like, I don't know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and it, that feels really motivating and just like inspiring. I, I just feel like I'm in a really great place. So yeah. it's exciting. It's such an accomplishment. It's such an accomplishment. Like, look at that. Isn't that awesome? You're <laughs> just taking it in still. I, I just, I can't stop staring. <laughs> I don't blame you. All right, we'll see you Sunday. Bye.